Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Watch Dogs 2 running on Intel Iris 540 graphics on the Core i5-6260U. And this game has just come out in the UK in the last hour, just unlocked on Uplay, and we are running it here at 720p and the low detail settings. Uh, this is what the game detected when I launched it up, and we're using the um, Uplay uh, frame rate overlay. And we can see here frame rates are typically above 20 frames per second uh, for a brand new AAA release um, at you know 720p resolution. This isn't actually too bad. Um, I've been, as the game has just come out, I've been playing just through the initial stages and um, was able to get through this little intro mission and have a look at some of the uh, sort of main San Francisco area as well and um okay combat is a little messy at these kind of frame rates i made a few errors here you can see i've missed a couple shots with the taser um and in places we'll skip forward in a moment to the indoor sequence um we have some combat here and um partly i didn't have my mouse sensitivity high enough but getting sort of the melee combat I, it's not really the best combat game possibly um but you know getting the melee combat was a little bit tricky just because frame rates aren't the best um and like i say sensitivity was down a bit low um but you can get through it um you can see here i'm sort of taking down some guards i am taking some hits but i haven't played this before wasn't really sure what to expect um and was able to go through this reasonably okay um first impressions of the game are pretty good as well the the hacking aspect is quite interesting i never played the original uh, watchdogs so i hadn't really experienced that but it seems quite a promising start to the game um sort of going through tracing sort of wiring and network routes and things like that and manipulating those obviously it's very sort of game gamified um but it's an interesting concept and it'll be interesting to sort of play through the game and find out a bit more of it and anyway, once we've just gone through this little hacking bit, I cut some of the outdoor scenes and going to outdoors in San Francisco here, you can see frame rates, even though we've got sort of this nice view of the Golden Gate Bridge um, and looking around sort of this harbourside location, um, frame rates still 20 mid 20s up to 30 frames per second in places and um, sometimes down to sort of 20. But I think if you've got, say, an Iris 540 equipped system, you should be able to play the game with this. Um, as you can see here in car, it's sort of coming down to around 20 frames per second. But I'd say if you if you can play GTA 5 on a on a system like this, you can probably get away playing Watch Dogs 2 on it as well. So it seems like they've done quite a good job on optimizing this title. Um, I am going to be taking a look very shortly at HD 620 on this game as well and in the next day or two I'll probably have videos up looking at some of the older platforms like HD 520 as well to see how they hold up. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. And support us on Patreon if you want to have your say on what we test in the future. Thanks for watching.